Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I want to take you on a tour of this 2014 Tiffin Phaeton. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside of the coach. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour of this uh, motor home here on the inside. This is a 2014 Tiffin Phaeton. Uh, it's the 40 QBH floor plan. Uh, that is a 40-foot floor plan with four slide-outs and a rear bath uh, with a midship half bath. Uh, probably one of the most desirable floor plans on any motor home in all of the country. Uh, and this one only has 3,159 miles on it. So it is literally as close to new as you are ever going to find on a pre-owned coach. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that we just love to get in here at Highway RV because it's what we're best at. Uh, really, really nice quality diesel pushers um, at a really great price. So uh, what, the, uh, what this is going to offer you is just basically everything you get with a brand new motor home minus the price. So. Uh, this one is powered by the 380 horsepower Cummins, rides on a Freightliner chassis. Uh, of course, an Allison six-speed transmission is what uh, it has uh, to power that along. And this one is appointed in the Rocky Mountain Brown color scheme, both inside and out. So what we're going to do through this uh, walkthrough video is show you through the coach. I'm going to show you the floor plan, kind of how it's laid out. Uh, we're also going to point out some of the features uh, about the coach as we go through and also point out the condition as we go. But I'm going to be able to tell you for sure on the condition with this coach. There's almost nothing to point out. If I do see a flaw or anything like that as we go through, I'll make sure and point it, a, point it out. But basically, it's, it's in like new condition uh, inside and out. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in. We're going to start up here at the uh, front of the coach. You'll see the Rocky Mountain Brown comes with a uh, kind of a, a taupey beige colored ultra leather. That's on the driver and passenger seats uh, as well as the sofa. And there's also a lounger that you'll see uh, as we go back into the living area that has that same uh, color on it. Right up here we have some cabinetry. More cabinetry here. This is uh, like a glazed, I believe, a glazed maple or, I mean, a glazed cherry. Uh, this could possibly be a little darker maple, but I believe it's a cherry. Um, up in here, we've got some stuff for the uh, satellite dish and your antenna booster. This is an optional television. This is the LG uh, flat screen television that's just for this area, so that if you want to watch something as you're driving down the road, this one's uh, going to be the television you'd use for that. Down here we have our stereo system, our backup monitor, um, our air conditioning controls, uh, our freight line or gauges over here. Of course, all the dash is in perfect condition. We've got our day-night uh, MCD style shades that um, are throughout the whole coach. Uh, and what we've got up here at the front is we've got them right now closed to completely block light. But there's also a sunshade version of this, which is a, a smoky uh, black color. And both of those uh, up here are power controlled, so you can use these while you're driving uh, to give you shade from the sun. Um, all the seats are in perfect condition. Coming around to this side is your selector for the Allison transmission, uh, your exhaust brake switch. Over here, you've got your HWH computerized leveling pad right there. Um, coming back on into the living room, one of the features that stands right out is we have another LG flat screen television right here. This would be the one you would probably end up using most of the time when you're camping. Um, and we've got plenty of cabinetry up above that, uh, around through here, and we also have a functional fireplace. So not only does that give you that nice, cozy, homey kind of a look that is a functional electric heater that's going to be able to offer you heat in this area of the coach when it's cold outside. Right here you'll see that, uh, that recliner that we have. You can see it's a European style and this does recline out. It's not a two-piece chair in autumn and this part does uh, fold out for your foot support. So that's really nice. Uh, just a quick demo on these shades. Right here we have our nighttime shade that's the complete room darkening. There's your light filtering side. So you can have those uh, deployed in any combination that you choose. Uh, they're in beautiful condition. They work really great. The window uh, treatments in this, in this motorhome are really stunning. Uh, you've got the cherry wood. 
you've got this beautiful fabric, and in here you've got a, I don't know if it's pewter or stainless steel, but it's a little design in here, and you, they're actually bejeweled with little, uh, with little, looks like diamonds. Very nice. It's tasteful, it's not in your face, it's not gaudy or anything like that, but it's a nice attention to detail. The Phaeton is probably, I would say, if not the most popular diesel pusher in America, it's on every dealer's top five list uh, for most popular coaches, and it's just evident immediately when you walk into one. Why? Because for the money that they cost, for the, the value that you get, you just can't beat it. They are very stylish. you got the great Tiffin name behind of it. They're loaded with great features. Um, it just keeps on going, and, and it's all at a price for a diesel pusher that's really affordable. Um, so coming back from that, we've got our dinette. We've got this pulls out here to expand out to make room for four, and we have two more dining chairs that come with this. Uh, over here, I believe, is a little slide-out tray that would be great for a keyboard if you wanted to do computer work right here. That was an option to have that computer uh, workstation uh, there. Um, we've got a nice uh, lighting fixture above the dinette, and this actually matches with the with the little jewels, matches the window treatments, so everything's color coordinated. The floor of this coach is really, really nice. It's like a natural stone, high gloss tile, very, very pretty, in excellent shape. There's no cracks or anything like that in it. It, it just looks very, very high-end, and that floor in conjunction with the really nice design of the ceiling, where you've got this nice uh, cherry border and cherry crown molding here, all uh, inset around this. This is the type of stuff that you only used to find on your ultra-high-end diesel pushers, and uh, this is more in, uh, you know, into a... Uh, a, a midline diesel pusher. You're definitely in the top uh, rung of diesel pushers, but you're in the midline of that. And this, this is stuff that you did not used to see unless you were up into the Zephyr or uh, or really high end coaches. So that's very nice. From the floor to the ceiling, it's a really nice look. Coming over to here, we have our ultra leather sofa, and this is a fold out sleeper sofa, air mattress. So very comfortable sleeping right there. So you've got two people can sleep there another two people back uh, in the bedroom, so they're sleeping comfortably for four. Coming back here to the, uh, to the kitchen, uh, we've got our sharp carousel convection microwave, of course. Right here's our three burner cooktop. It's in beautiful condition, doesn't look like it's hardly ever been used at all. Our solid surface countertops throughout in a really unique design. Um, You've got your double bowl stainless sink here. Uh, it's really nice. This will be one of the only areas in the coach that I can tell you uh, will give you evidence that the coach has been used. Uh, and it's not in bad shape. I don't want you to take that wrong. It's just when you use a sink, a stainless steel sink, you're going to see some little minor scratches in it just from normal use. This would be one of the few clues that you're not looking at a brand new coach. So uh, uh, just want to point that out, not as a flaw, just as, a, uh, uh, as an evidence of use. Right here we have our, our Fisher & Paquel uh, dishwasher. That's a nice feature. Just looks like a drawer, but when you pull that out, you've got a full-featured dishwasher right there. Got plenty more cabinetry uh, beneath. Got a, a, a drawers over here that, uh, that, that pull out all high-quality solid wood drawers. For that matter, I believe all of the cabinetry solid hardwood. Um, nickel high-rise faucet right here. Coming over here, we've got our residential refrigerator. So you've got a full residential uh, refrigerator. This is not an RV-specific refrigerator. This is going to run off of an inverter. Uh, when you're traveling down the road, your, your, um, either your generator or your alternator will charge the batteries, which in turn power this Maytag refrigerator. The benefit of the, of the refrigerator, the obvious benefit fit of a residential is you've got the size of a residential refrigerator. You've also got your ice and water in the door. Um, and what's really nice about it is down the road, if, if, uh, if you have a problem with it, so much 
easier to just go to the store and buy whatever new uh, refrigerator you want that fits into that hole as opposed to having to keep the the LP gas system up to speed uh, on, an, on an RV type refrigerator. You got to keep the electric side going, the LP side going. This just makes everything much more simple and you're seeing a real rise in the amount of these uh, residential refrigerators that are making their way into not only motorhomes but into travel trailers and fifth wheels nowadays mainly I believe because the cost of inverter technology has come down to so that the price of inverters are not as uh, astronomical as they used to be it makes it much more affordable uh, to put in not only uh, diesel pushers but also in gas motorhomes and towables um, right here we've got some more um, some more storage. This right here is just a plug that comes with the motorhome and this will go up into a roof vent to help uh, heat from coming in. So that's what that is right there. More storage up here that will be great for canned goods or something like that. Right here is our midship half bath. What we've got right here is a china toilet with a foot flush. Your same uh, solid surface countertop, your nickel finish hardware right here, and you've got a corner medicine cabinet. And you see these right here? Both of these are uh, uh, thermostats for the heated tile floor. I did not mention earlier that not only is the flooring really pretty, that nice high gloss floor, it's heated. So you're going to just set the temperature that you like the floor at and it's going to come on as needed. So on colder mornings uh, the floor is going to be warm to the touch. So that's a very nice feature. Uh, probably one of those things that you might not know that you want it until you've had it. Uh, and you find that it's a really, really nice feature. Uh, it makes, uh, adds a lot of comfort. A lot of people don't like tile because it's cold and hard. Well, you take care of the cold problem with that heated tile floor. You're going to wake up and put your bare feet on a nice warm floor. Uh, right here's uh, one of our thermostats for our air conditioners. We have two more thermostats right here because we have three roof airs on this motorhome. Uh, 40 foot motorhome with three roof airs. You can make this place as cold as a refrigerator inside here. So it's really nice having that cooling capacity. Coming back here to the bedroom, we have a queen or a king size bed. I'm sorry, we have a king size bed. Uh, factory uh, bedspread is in beautiful condition. Got a nice padded headboard. You've got this accenting. Uh, um, uh, wallpaper that's used in the slide out back here in the bedroom which I think looks really nice it's kind of a metallic finish plenty of storage up above that bed this is an air bed so you're able to adjust the comfort level uh, on the bed swinging around here you've got another LG flat screen television so that's a total of three indoor televisions in here there's also one outside on the patio area so that's a total of four flat screen televisions in this motorhome so uh, really loaded up in the electronics front. Right down here we have our Panasonic uh, Blu-ray DVD player. You've got wiring in here for that satellite uh, receiver uh, if you want satellite uh, with the rooftop uh, satellite dish. Big drawers here, big drawers so you can fit bulky items, sweaters, things like that, maybe even a blanket or two. Uh, the same day-night shades that you have up front you got back here, storage up here. Uh, and then we come back to what is most people's favorite part of this floor plan, which is the rear bathroom. Uh, back here in the rear bath, you've got the same uh, tile floor in here. Really nice residential style stacker, washer, and dryer in here. So uh, there's three things we're really looking for on a coach when we want to hit all of the, the things that modern buyers are looking for, the ideal mix of what we can find. We like full body paint which of course the Phaeton has uh, all Phaetons have full body paint king bed and stacker washer and dryer if we have those three items you've just got the three most popular things that in my opinion our customers are looking for anyway so stacker washer dryer in there plenty of room back here uh, in, the, the, in the vanity, tons of space back here, lots and lots of medicine cabinet space. What's nice about this design is you can have your midship half bath that can be used by any visitors that are coming over and you, you can keep that one pretty. You don't have to put away your personal items and things like that. But when you come back here to the rear bath, 
This can be your own private bath. You don't have to worry about cleaning up the countertop or putting all of your stuff away if you want to entertain. You can have this as your private space where no one else can come. And that's really the benefit of the bath and a half floor plan. We've got plenty of wardrobe space back here. You can see we've got uh, a nice amount of hanging storage here. Over here we have our another China Bowl toilet. Uh, it has uh, got the electric flush function on that. We have a corner unit shower right here. It's all in great shape. Um, and there's something I want to show if the cameraman can come on back into the bathroom. One thing that I thought was really cool is you've got this nice little shade that pulls over to block that um, that light from coming in the skylight but it's also got a nice little LED light that's inset into that cover so if you do have that pulled to uh, keep heat out or whatever uh, at nighttime whatever you've got a little bit of light in here so that's really really nice to have that little LED light in there uh, I thought that was a very nice little touch that just added a nice bit of customized uh, just it makes you let you know that the people at Tiffin were thinking about the details so that's basically the inside of this coach I am absolutely positive that I have missed a lot of features but the main thrust of these videos is to give you a feel for the coach and to give you a feel for the condition that it's in um, it's not meant to give you a full exhaustive list of every bit of equipment the coach has uh, feel free to call us if you have any more questions about individual uh, items that might be in this coach so that's pretty much the inside of the coach let's go ahead and head on out to the outside Okay, let's go ahead and continue the tour of this 2014 Phaeton here on the uh, outside. Again, this is the 40 QBH floor plan, and this is a 40-foot coach with four slides, and this particular one only has 3,100 miles. So we're going to start right here at the front, and you see, uh, again, this is the Rocky Mountain Brown color scheme. So we've got like a gold and a chocolate, dark chocolate kind of a brown with black. Uh, all the paint up here is in great shape because this has uh, got the clear, clear protective film on it. So the actual paint is, uh, is perfect underneath of it. There's no discoloration or crackling in that clear protection film. Uh, it's in excellent condition. Uh, the front uh, windshield is also perfect. There's no scratches or chips in that. You can see we've got our chrome mirrors. Again, they're also perfect. It has integrated side view cameras in each of the mirrors. Right here's the camera for the right hand side. So when you put the, the left or the right turn signal on, it's going to give you a view down the right side of the coach and vice versa on the left side. Um, coming back from there, we got our Michelin tires. They're in excellent shape. I have a, a carefree uh, electric power patio awning that is not deployed right now, but it is a power patio awning. Coming back from there, you can see we've got our hydraulics for the leveling jacks here. We've got our LP gas tank right there. Over here is our storage, and you've got a big full pass-through storage bay right here. You can see in here we've got some tire covers, some solar shields for the windows, and uh, some sewer hoses, some goodies and stuff like that that, have, uh, that are, some of the stuff looks like it's never been used. Uh, close this up. Right here is another full pass-through area. We've got a box of DEF fluid. It is full right now of DEF fluid, but you've got another box that comes with it. Um, we've got some leveling blocks that are in this piece of uh, plastic bag there. We've got about five uh, extra tiles for the in interior. If anything ever cracks, you've got some extra tile there. And then uh, right here is our, uh, our ladder extension to get to the roof. So you can see just how pretty that, uh, that paint is and how nice a shape it's in. This is our big uh, wall slide for the, uh, for the living room. Here's that fourth um, LG flat screen television in there. And this just latches down and it's got a latch. So uh, that's, that's really a nice feature right there. Coming back from that, we have um, uh, our rear tires, again, Michelin tires. Here's that uh, wardrobe uh, or cabinetry slide for the bedroom. Back from there, we've got a battery bay in here uh, with a chassis cutoff. That's our chassis battery there. We've got a, a very uh, small storage bay right here. Back here, we have more storage uh, in that area. 
all the paint is in just perfect condition over on this side. I don't really know of any flaws on it. Everything looks great. There's no crackling, scratching, anything like that in the clear coat. Coming back to the uh, back of the coach, we have, uh, there, I'll open this up, but all there is there is a radiator. It is a rear radiator design. All the paint back here is great. There is no scratches or chips or anything back here from hooking up a car or anything. It does have a Falcon 2 tow bar that comes with it. Uh, coming around to this side is uh, another little storage bay back here with some more leveling blocks and another sewer hose. Plenty of extra sewer hoses that come with this. Uh, we've got a surge protector right here, our, our electric cord reel, and um, power transfer switch and all that good stuff in there. This is your DEF tank uh, for the diesel uh, exhaust fluid. Forward of that is our wet bay. We have a freshwater reel right here our black and gray water valves, our water pump, everything is in just beautiful shape right there as well. And then this is the other side of that full uh, pass-through storage that we have. These doors close up, all side opening bay doors, and all of them have pneumatic struts to support those doors when they're out uh, so that the wind doesn't blow them around and keep, or keep them from overextending. Um, Right up in here we have our, our chassis battery, or our house batteries I should say, uh, in excellent shape. They look like they're brand new. I don't believe they are, but they look brand new. Here's another house battery cut off right there. All the paint down through here is virtually perfect. If there's any, if there's any flaws at all, I'm seeing, uh, well that's, that's wiping off. But if there is anything, it will be limited to a little tiny bug chip just normal stuff from 3,100 miles worth of driving. Uh, it looks like there may be a couple of these are actual minuscule little chips in the paint here, uh, but some of them are wiping off as I, uh, as I touch them. So I'm going to say on the outside, uh, 10 being brand new, this has got to be a 9.5 plus plus. I mean, it's, it's almost perfect condition on the outside. If you're interested in the coach, we'll be glad to send you a detailed picture package showing you very detailed pictures of all the surfaces on the coach. We'll get up close, show you that each of the bay doors are nice, show you that the battery compartment's clean, show you that the windshield looks good. All of that stuff will be detailed out in the detailed picture package. And any flaws that we do see, uh, we will uh, be sure to point out in that. But uh, virtually, it's, it's like I said, as close to new as you'll ever find on a pre-owned coach. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to point out is up here, uh, we have our fuses, some fuses in this front bay, and everything is spotless in there. And I do want to point out that the front end of this slides out and you have the 10kW Onan diesel generator. Because you got three rooftop ACs, that comes with a 10kW upgrade on the generator. So that's pretty much the outside of the coach. I hope this walk around and walk through has been helpful for you. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to call us at 863-956. 1036. My name is Brian, but whoever answers the phone would be glad to help you. I sure hope this video has been helpful to you. You have a great day and God bless.